congratulations guys on season three i i had an absolute blast watching all 10 episodes um such a cliffhanger y'all are killing me but for those who haven't seen it yet how are you how is the season raising the stakes and making things sexier than we've ever seen them before well, we're, 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 we're getting into everybody's storyline much more. So we're getting into their intimacy a lot more. We know who they are personally a lot more, all the characters. So it makes it really interesting and deeper and uh, funnier. And I mean, there's more stakes, obviously, because of that. And so, I mean, the stakes are higher. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. And yeah. plus her. <laughs> this one, so funny. <laughs> we yeah, but I think it. I mean, I'm you. I you've seen it, so you know where I I go when I come and go. But it's I think in general the season. This is the big seat, the biggest season yet. Um, both geographically, they go everywhere. More locations, more fabulous clothing. This is the first season that. Marilyn is designing solely alone. alone. Yeah, yeah. Marilyn Fatusi, the costume designer. So there, there's, um, and I think you see Emily's wardrobe become a little more Parisian, and everybody yeah. is really pretty fantastic. We definitely went for it. So yeah, fabulous, more fabulous, more fun, more sexy, more intimate, more, uh, more, 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 more. <laughs> more, more, more. I love that, and including the fashion too. Like Kate, you were talking about. I mean, this stuff is really. These looks are unbelievable. I'm curious for both of you, how many fittings did you have? And do you know how many looks that you have in the series as well? Oh, you must have so I don't, many looks. I, I absolutely don't know. I mean, I, I don't know. I don't, I, when I watched it, I kind of went, oh, I've forgotten about that one. You know, because we So good. Because <laughs> we were basically a different costume for every day in the show. We never wear twice the same thing. I mean, sometimes a pair of shoes, but not, you know, the whole outfit, never. So we forget about it. Uh, I forgot about it. And fittings, I don't know, I had a lot. And, but I work with Marilyn, you know, ahead of time. As soon as we know when we're shooting, we start talking like months ahead and exchanging images and stuff. Because we, I love it. It's so much fun. I mean, it, you, you really create a, a character with costumes, so, yeah. obviously, yeah. Yeah, Kate, you and your uh, water bottle, too. That was so relatable. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> the water bottle makes an appearance. Thank I mean, you, it's baby. real. That's what they, yeah, they took it from my weird little personal life. And this thing travels, with, it's so stupid, but it's the only way, yeah, it yeah. can remain hydrated. Yeah. So there you go. That's the beauty seeker. You gotta stay hydrated. Yeah, babe. Um, I want to talk to you guys about the rivalry on screen that you both have. Filipina, if you could just talk to us a little bit about what we're going to see between the two of you this season as, you know, your character goes off and starts her own firm? Well, I don't want to spoil too much, but yes, we're going to see uh, Emily confronted with a choice and uh, she's not capable of choosing. And so it's horrible. I feel betrayed. She feels betrayed. She's basically uh, putting she's a... She's two-timing us. She's playing she's both. She's exactly. playing the field. She wants to have her cake and eat it too. And we both need her. We both want her. So obviously it creates a huge rivalry between us, which was already there because I did yeah. not like the Chicago people at all. She didn't like uh, me trying to be the boss of her. No. <laughs> uh, no, I hate it. I mean, you can't have ever imagine Sylvie answering to Madeline. <laughs> So absurd. God, no. Uh. Absolutely not going to happen. No. Kate, what was it like, or how did you guys really create that on-screen tension? It's so delicate to be able to make it, you know, you see two women fighting, and yet you're not falling under that stereotype. We see two complex powers. Yeah, it's not women. Dynasty. We're not like, you know, yeah. Alexis but, and Crystal. But it's he writes it. Darren he writes, writes it, it, but it's an interesting point, because I was very, I was very uh, cautious with that dress scene, not to get into that kind of thing and you too so we're kind of playing it like more in the vulnerable side than the you know the the, desire to connect as opposed to like I have my stakes and you know and that that scene or like I need her I need to try to get her to come back and so you know it's like yeah and I'm trying to tell her you can't do that yeah you can't just do that you know it's I'm trying to like teach her a lesson, but in a, in a nice motherly way. You can't do that, <laughs> you know. Uh, it's more, it's kind of more interesting than to be like, you know, throwing stuff at each other, um, even if it's fun. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I want to ask you about Lucas. Has his swagger changed at all since he's played um, Julia Roberts on Screen Boyfriend? What do you think? 
I don't know. I don't. I haven't hung out with him enough to know his swagger and his swagger level. But he's <laughs> definitely like he's a great guy. No, he's, you know, he's, he's a just, sweet guy. He's a sweetheart. He's yeah. a sweet guy. He's yeah. simple. It, he's very happy to have done that. Having a blast in Paris, doing the press tour together. This dinner that was epic. really wasn't that fun. That, that was, was fun. like the moment. It felt like oh, this is happening. Right. Like, it's a really cool. The families together. It finally. Was very, yeah. Really nice. Yeah. Who is the person in this group who, like, keeps everybody together or, like, starts, you know, calling everybody to come to the party? Oh, it's kind of difficult to say because there's different generations, you know. So I'd say in the younger group, it's definitely Ashley. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, uh, us, I mean, we're different. We don't, you know, we're different. Yeah. We're the mothers in the story. <laughs> I know. That would be an AD. That would be a first AD job. <laughs> we don't really call anybody. Yeah. And Kate, hey, um, Ellen Pompeo recently announced that her, her last year, her last episode as a series regular is coming up. Were you ever expecting that day to come? Yes, I was. I mean, that was, I thought it was going to be season 18 would be the final season of the show, which is why I came back. They're like, okay, it's the end. I was like, call me when it's the end, and then I'll come back. And, you know, Patrick came back, everybody came back. But then, I, of course, it's going on, and season 19 was is great. It's, it's got an inc incredible storylines um, this year. And so, but I didn't know that Ellen was, yeah, that this would be her. Have you her spoken last. to her at all since then? No, we just texted. It was like, you know, I'll see. I'm not going to say goodbye. I'll say see you later. Yeah. But she's, like, iconic, and she'll do the voiceover. And we don't know what's going to happen. I think she'll come. She may do little bibs and bobs or something. We'll see. But the writing is so strong, and the actors are so great. So, you know, we'll see how it goes, how the fans like it.